Hello, in this demonstration I will be showing you a sample of what can be achieved with our Joey Duino and Clarinox Bluetooth and Wi-Fi stacks. Our application will be setting the Renesis S7G2 interface with the Joey Duino Shield as a Wi-Fi access point. With this configuration, we can connect to the Amazon Web Servers to configure the MQTT broker. The Joey Duino will connect to the Amazon Web Servers via our local internet connection. This will allow the BLE-enabled sensors to send out its data to the Amazon Web Server. In this demo, we have a couple of sensors that will be reading the temperature and light values in a fictional home setting. This sensor data is periodically sent to the Amazon Web Server, which can then be read off of various MQTT-enabled web or smartphone-based applications. So let's get started. Currently, the Renesis board is set up as a Wi-Fi access point. I'll use my phone to connect to the access point, which you'll see appear here as MQTT9999. On screen, you'll get confirmation when you're connected. I'll open up the browser and type in 192.168.1.243, and this will take us to the Clarinox IoT gateway configuration tool. Through here, we configure our device to connect to the Amazon Web Server via our local network. And that's all that's needed to establish the connection. We'll save the settings, and with that, the Joey Duino has the details to connect to the server. Now I'll disconnect the phone from the access point and reset the board. The board will be set to station mode after restarting, and will now connect to the Amazon Web Server via our local connection. The sensors will be paired with the board at this stage as well. But before moving on to the phone, I'll pull up the Clarinox debugger to give you an overview of how it can be used in this kind of application. On the top left window, we show the TCP IP packet details captured from the Wi-Fi log. This shows the details of the MQTT messages, so for example the light or temperature values captured from the sensors. The details in this window are directly related to this Wi-Fi sniffer window on the top right, which shows the output going to the Wi-Fi module via an SDIO interface. We also see in the top middle window the Bluetooth sniffer, which shows the details of the Bluetooth messages. In addition to these, we can see the overall function traces in this message browser window. The console on the bottom of the screen shows user messages from the application. These combined views will not only provide insight into the program flow, but also show how memory is being used, the relation of the application flow to the Wi-Fi Bluetooth protocol messages, and a very detailed status of the embedded code. Now I will use one of our phone-based applications to access the sensor data. In this demonstration, we are simulating a smart home environment where we can control certain devices and read temperature and light level values from various rooms in the home. So to start off, I will be simulating the setting of the sun by obscuring the amount of light received on the light sensors. When I cover the sensors, you'll see the updated light level values reflected on the widgets on the phone screen. As a result, you can also see the patio light turn on as a response to the darkness. I uncover the sensors to expose them to more light and the values will change once more. In a real home setting, it is likely that there would be multiple users who would want to control their appliances or gain access to the sensor data. This can be simulated here as well. So for example, if I wanted to turn on the air conditioner, I could do it from my phone and these changes will be reflected on the second user's phone as well. Now the second user can also turn on garden irrigation and those changes will be applied on the other user's screen almost instantly. So if you're away on holiday and are concerned that your plants might be drying out, you'll have no reason to worry as long as you're around a reliable internet connection. Well, this concludes our demonstration showcasing the possibilities available to you with the Clarinox Wi-Fi and Bluetooth stacks running on the Renesis S7G2 interface with the Joy Duino Shield. Thank you for watching and make sure to visit our website for more information about our products.